Hey guys, what's up? Nick Ortiz here, and uh, today we're going to be looking at very important details to the Armin guillotine. I think a lot of people get this huge misconception, especially when you're working with so many guillotines, right? There's the high-risk guillotine, um, there's low elbow, high elbow, and so there's a lot of uh, mistakes that we can make, and one of them is getting our arm in guillotine, but thinking that it's more of a squeeze rather than a compression of the head. So let's look at what these details are when we go for the arm in guillotine. So for me personally, the arm in guillotine is the most readily available because a lot of the times it's difficult to get real double closure of a high wrist being our fingertips pointing, pointing up towards the ceiling, double closure, forearm and bicep, right? So what I'm looking to do anytime somebody hits me with a double leg or whatever the case may be, is I'm looking to get my arm, let's turn this way, Kim. Crazy. <laughs> turn this way. I'm looking, get, come closer. I'm looking to get my arm through, but I'm getting my fist just a little bit past the center line. So I don't want it here, my fist on the trachea, I'm getting the arm a little bit past the center line like so. Now if I can, I'll fold my fist in towards Camille's carotid artery so I have double closure. Even though it's not a high wrist, there's still something blocking her carotid artery. Now from here, I'm looking to get my arm over. At this point, Camille has her arm around my waist, wh whatever the case may be, from a double leg around my, my, my glutes. She's trying to take me down. From here, I keep my chest over her head. There needs to be a wedge over the head. I connect my left hand to my right hand like so. From here, when I fall back, I do not take my chest away from the head. As you can see, there's no wedge on the head, so Camille pops her head out. Once I'm here, I keep everything forward. So now when Camille tries to pull away, it's difficult. Once I'm in this position, I look to fall back, but again, I don't take my, my chin away from the back. This is another mistake people make. As they fall back, let's say I take my right foot to the hip so Camille can't run towards me, and I take my left leg on top of the back so she can't posture out even more. So when I do this and I fall back, people tend to fall and take their chin away from the back. And when they try to go for the arm and guillotine, they squeeze their, you know, elongating their spine, Camille pops her head out, and she's gone. Instead of doing that, look to keep your head and shoulders far exceeding your hips. So I fall back, right leg goes on the hip, left leg comes over, I keep everything forward, like so. And you want your nose touching the scapula. Now again, it's not a squeeze. If I squeeze, I can squeeze forever, Camille will never, will, will never tap to the submission. What I want is the compression of Camille's head, chin going towards her chest. So what I'm doing is I take my left leg so I can back heel to bring my hips up off the mat. When I do this, that facilitates my armpit pushing in the back of Camille's head. Her chin goes to her chest, which means her trachea goes into my forearm. And we get a strong finish very quickly with the arm and guillotine. So again, very big detail. We're not elongating our spine. We're looking to stay nice and concave. The arm and guillotine is probably the guillotine that you'll get the most because it's so uh, easily accessible, readily available. So we want to make sure every detail is precise and we're not confusing it for a squeeze. It's more so a, comp a, a compression. So again, we're here. However it happens, let's say Camille takes me down, but I connect my hands. Now fold your fist in towards the carotid artery. Take your left hand, put it on top of your right hand, and keep your elbows in tight. Now when I fall back again, I don't fall and elongate my spine. This will never work. You can squeeze as long as you want. Camille's going to pop out because, again, there's nothing behind her head keeping her down. So from here, what you're looking to do is keeping your head and shoulders to far exceed your hips. You want to make sure your chin or your nose is touching uh, your partner's scapula. Right leg to the hip, left leg over. And very important, we fall to our right shoulder and our right hip. Like so. Once I'm in this position, guys, it's not a squeeze. Back heel your left leg so your hips go in towards the torso. That's going to facilitate your armpit pushing behind the head, running your partner's trachea into your forearm, all while you stay concave. And you get a strong finish with the arm and guillotine. So again, 
we're just making sure that we understand whenever we have an arm in guillotine, it's not a squeeze and we don't fall flat back. Everything is concave. If we look to fall towards, let's say if it's a right arm strangle, we fall to our right hip and our right shoulder. Everything is about looking to back heel, picking your hips up off the mat. Your armpit is gonna push behind the head. That's gonna bring chin to chest. And from there, we looked at, I think somebody's trying to, trying, to, trying to get me. So with that in mind, hopefully you guys have a good day. That's a helicopter. I gotta go.